Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. In this episode of Jamie Plays, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Star Trek New Horizons. We are playing as uh, the Herogen Hunters, and uh, yeah, we're going to continue expanding. I think what I want to try and do, um, we Your still have some time so before we can declare war on the board. Um, I would like to take kind of the rest of the um, territories that don't have star bases but what i'd also like to do is to attack the brunali because unfortunately i mean these remaining systems here from the narcadians have star bases so i think let's take the brunali ones and what i'd like to do is just kind of uh wind my way around although hmm i'm just thinking actually what i would like to do um so Oh, you don't have a... You have an underspace quarter, but you don't have a starbase. This starbase is 15k. Hmm. Actually, you know what I'd like to do? Let's have a look. I think I want to go here um, and have a look to see if we can create something with um, a distance uh, that has such a f like wide or such a far distance. For, uh, sorry, I'm looking at range. Range is the term I need to use. That has such a high range that the star bases won't really be able to engage them. Um, I'm just wondering, do they have a range of two? I think maybe at this, uh, I think the range for star bases, once you get like a fully upgraded one, is about 200. I don't know what it is for a star base of this size, so I'm not sure. Um, but let's see, let's try and make a ship that we can. Uh, where we can put the longest range everything on there. So if we say, uh, maybe let's try a battle cruiser. Let's go for the advanced tactical battle cruiser, maybe. Um, section, battle cruiser section. Let's have a look here. So the cannons, unfortunately, 0 to 20, 0 to 20, 0 to 20. So the range of the cannons is not going to be anything. Um, the Gatling gun is 0 to 120. That's much better. That's definitely focusing on range. Uh, this one, you're still just 1 to 20. Torpedoes, 60, 60, 60 is the maximum. So I'm looking around here. So this is where the range uh, pops up. So tracking 50%, below that is range 0 to 40. Average damage, 38.10. I'm looking for something like, I mean, the medium dicobalt warheads so far is 120. Oh, this medium saurium torpedo as well. 120. Uh, tracking is only 10%. Oh, they're both only 10%. Accuracy is both 75%. Cooldown is both the same. Um, the Dicobot Warhead does better damage, but actually, it would just be two. So what I'd like to try and do is make a, um, make a fleet of, like, Starbase Busters, if possible. You know what? Instead of a battle cruiser, let's try, um... Yeah, I don't think we need to save that. Yeah, so let's try a cruiser. I wonder if the cruisers might have a bit more range. So if we go to a cruiser... Um, sections, let's go space superiority. Let's try the heavy cruiser first. Um, oh no, you can only do fusion and photon. Not heavy cruiser, space superiority? No, you can't either. These are all... No, yeah. So it's not that one. Maybe the one I'm thinking of is the missile cruiser? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, maybe cruisers just absolutely can't do very long range weapons. Oh, I thought it was going to be the cruiser. Okay, never mind. Let's try something else. Maybe they are destroyers. Because um, we have things like missile boats. Which I think might be, yeah. This might be better. Spatial charges, dicobalt warheads. Oh, that's only... Oh, because these are light. They only have a range of 100. 120... Uh, range of 40, range of 40. Uh, missile boats. Let's look at the heavy beam placement, although I don't actually think that's going to be any better. No, because of course these... Yeah, only have 20. Hmm. Torpedo volley, maybe? Yeah, we can put more here, but again, because they're light, the range is not as good. Um, you know what? I might need to try and unlock another, like, more sections. And actually, this advanced battle cruiser prototype might be what we're looking for. Uh, 
well, it might help anyway. We're going to get the next level of desecrated tetronic turrets, which will, uh, yeah, which will be nice. It will help both of our ships. Sorry, it will help both our ships and our star bases, which will be very helpful. So yeah, let's just unpause the game and let's get it running. Um, so in the last episode, we were looking through our sectors and our all of our stuff here, and it looks fine, so I'm not really going to touch these for a while. Uh, you need um, to start... Yeah, doing the amenities stuff. Okay, so that's only minus five, so hopefully the next one, the next Herogen pop, will then be helpful. Oh, you know what? Let's have a quick look just to make sure there are no Herogens doing any basic jobs. Like here, for example, you should not be doing the. Oh, but we don't have any specialist jobs for you at the moment. And we actually have no more housing either. So. Moving on to the next one, um, no Herogen there. Oh, we do have Herogens doing stuff here. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these. Yeah, now we have Herogens doing some job. Let's go like that. Oh, you're really not happy with amenities. Oh, and oh, no, now you are. Decisions. Uh, so here, no Herogens. No, oh, yes, we do have a Herogen here. Don't do that. You know, do something useful, please. Go like that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Again, Herogens, you are doing the wrong jobs. Yeah, restore jobs. No Herogens. Uh, you look fine for now. No Herogens. Uh, yes, Herogens, but you're all Herogen anyway. So, can't fault you there. Um, you're fine, and I think we basically loop through. You're all Herogens as well. You're all Herogens, and the next, basically the next people we conquer will be uh, the slaves that we put there. Uh, oh, let's go like that, and the maintenance engineer, and now give everyone jobs again. Ah, it's actually because you don't have enough jobs. Oh, and this is Idrin's logic again, sorry. Just wasting some time there. So, let's go ahead, and I think we need to find a new target to take over. Um, how about the, Br I mean, the Brunali, I'm just wondering if there are any undefended uh, colonies, and it doesn't look like it. It looks like all of their colonies have star bases, from what we can see, anyway. Now, Liridia is going to be the same. Um, they have this down here. Uh, Kreas... You are with the Brunali as well. Oh, sorry, Liridia is with the um, Norcadians, that's right. Hmm, okay. Brunali, we could take those two systems there. Hmm, I'm just trying to look where we can get slaves, and I'm thinking... Uh, how's the Terai? They're pathetic. We declare war, conquer claims. I'm trying to get two... Two things from them. Yeah, I want that. Oh, SOS from the neighboring system, from the Krenum Imperium. Um, we're not going to spare the ships. We wouldn't help you anyway. We wouldn't want to help you. Um, so where could we steal pops from? Actually, can we buy any on the galactic markets? We could for tons of dilithium, and we don't have planets to move them to. Yeah, we have uh, lodges, not planets, so that would not be good. Actually, something we could try, though, is that here, uh, your polar world, your polar world, torrid world. Do we have any continental worlds? Torrid, torrid, temperate. Oh, temperate should work. If we go to decisions, we can establish a hunting colony. And I'm thinking, why don't we go ahead and do that? Because I haven't done it before. So let's go ahead and say decisions, establish a hunting colony. Becomes the new owner of Narcadia Prime. Um, we have a hunting world modifier added, giving the following effects. Luxury production amenities, uh, pop unity production, and adds a hunter cabin to the planet. You know what, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have more than enough water ice. We have enough unity. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. And it's given us a ton of things. Oh, no, because we already had um, a bunch of... 
things here any uh because this is norcadia prime so we just gained all of this stuff that's actually really nice now let's go ahead and send a scientist there updated and then let's go ahead and do we have a scientist hanging around oh we do have a scientist here you're level four yeah we can bring you up to level five that sounds good construction ship i still can't really build anything special let's go ahead um something we also need to do is build more ships that's two more ships there that's nice good yep so that's the three-year mission we're heading up there already we can get rid of that intel against the Mercadian harmony that's fine we can get rid of you and get rid of you yes yeah, so the question becomes is it worth so it's not really worth taking the borg systems that have star bases in them um but something that might be useful actually uh not against that star base but if unicomplex two or three um Oh, we're losing food shortly. Oh, Bryzine nitrates. Uh, what's using Bryzine nitrates? Oh, you know what? I think that new colony, this one here. Um, you are using Bryzine nitrate. We're going to downgrade you. And that should then go to zero. There should be no more Bryzine nitrate there. Because we don't make Bryzine nitrate. We don't need it. Uh... But we can definitely upgrade you, which will be nice. And let's actually move you to the top. Yeah, move you up. There we go. Orbital headquarters. Yeah, perfect. Um, Federation XP. Yeah, rising nitrate is now zero, so that should be better for the food. We shouldn't be 139 per month, I think. Should be like minus 50, approximately. Or not, because we're already in the negative? No, now we're not, but that hasn't changed. Cardassians have opened their borders, that's great, but you're so far away, it doesn't matter. Okay, well I guess here what we're going to do is we'll eventually build some more food. Although actually, yeah, okay, there we go, minus 51. So, and I think we just need to fill those pops. So, I, oh, sorry, fill those jobs. So I really just need to start figuring out where planets are and who to take from. So you're at 41, yeah, as well. System survey complete. Oh, we salute you in battle, Antosian Republic. Okay, you know, I think going after the Brunali would be a good idea. So why don't we go ahead and claim some more stuff? Like, for example... Oh, actually, how is your... Uh, I want to see your star base, if possible. I can't see any of those star bases. Oh, sorry, I was clicking on the wrong one anyway. Nope. Peace between the Talaxians and the Trabe. Oops, that is Quo. Um, do I go ahead and... I mean, I could take Special that system. Uh, let's head to new territories for you. And uh, you know what, it's only four. Let's go ahead and... Oh! The Ventax Empire. You will serve the High Alpha whether you will it or not. Oh, and you've become xenophobic. Okay, that doesn't really matter to us anyway. And let's go ahead and claim that system. It's quite a large system, actually. Can we declare rivalry? No, because you're only wary. And who are you fighting against? The Hoosnock. You're fighting against the Hoosnock over there. So the Hoosnock might not be a bad one to take from as well, or take from either, especially because we already have stuff here. And actually, can we make one of these into... Nope, you're both polar, and I think we can't do it on polar. No, we have to have a temperate world uh, in order to make a kind of a hunter's colony uh, thing. Oh, we can upgrade you. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm, yeah. But if we can go ahead and get this planet here. Oh, that's their home system? Well, that's become their home system? Let's see. There are eight pops there, and there are 14 pops there. So that would be a nice planet to take. Um, you don't have anything. None of you are... Is that your own only colony over here? I think maybe that is. Yeah, I mean, this, this would be nice to take because of that station. And actually, that's not too much of a powerful station 
So it could be possible. Let's go ahead and build some more ships. That will be you, two for you. And we just, we're almost finished with our um, fleet there. Let's go ahead and try and build something else. Um, oh, more people to meet. So let's go ahead and try and meet you like that. Yeah, and I really want to see what this uh, advanced cruiser prototype gives us. Actually, can we change you for a better scientist? One who has industry? Oh, you. Uh, yes, let's reassign you. And then we need to go down here and give you now our free scientist. Well, the scientist not currently doing anything like that. Mega structures. Yeah, still can't build that. Okay, so who do we want to go against? I think the Brunali. I think they will be our next target. Um, Kralor Sanctum would also be nice, and they're probably only a level 1 starbase, or maybe level 2. And I think they would be good to go against as well. So, we only have three fleets at the moment. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and make a new basic one. Let's go two battle cruisers, um, two missile cruisers and a normal cruiser. Couple destroyers of each and patrol frigates. You know what? Fine. That looks fine. It's another patrol frigate there. Complete. Good. Oh, start the survey. And first contact. Oh, fascinating. Expertise New World. That's always night. Prepare diplomatic envoy to uh, EU. Scientist has leveled up. Yeah, Medusan Corporation. How. Let's go ahead and send put someone there for espionage, because I think they're going to be the next big uh, person to go against. Um, I would like to keep my there is time enough, um, still. Federation around, just so that if case the Borg do actually build up fleets for once, which I doubt we is going to happen, but if it does happen, it would be nice to have a way to get back at them. Oh, Bolian League declared war on the Zintri Patriarchy. Oh, that means now the Dominion is probably... Oh, hold on, sorry, and like, you are not part of the Dominion. Wishes to communicate. Yeah, oh, uh, who was it down here? Oh, the Delton Union is under the Dominion. That's right. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see that the Dominion have come so far down here. Uh, when actually, they're not even touching the Delton Union. Oh, Ferengi Alliance are with the Federation as well interesting. Uh, you're by yourself, you're by yourself. It looks like most of you are still independent. Klingons are looking a bit large. Leader of the Gala uh, Pan-Galactic Partnership, and that's you're under them. Who else is with you? Not the Romulan Star Empire, not the Zach Dorn. Okay, so who is part of your... Yeah, we can't see. Are you independent? There's a lot of still small independent places um, that are interesting. The Hoosnocker there. Your Borg collective, that's Borg as well. Fendomar. Yeah, okay. So I think maybe Hoosnock and Brunali would be good to go against. Actually, can we bring... What's your star base? It's only 3.9k. It's actually bringing... A fleet down there would be nice. Talaxians, open borders, that's nice. Losing Federation XP, that's absolutely fine. We don't want them to be powerful anyway. And we are the most powerful. Members, fleets, we don't even have a fleet there. Yes, yeah, so there was really no point in giving up our naval capacity anyway. We should be able to build another ship somewhere. I mean, we should be able to do yep, another patrol frigate there, or a destroyer there. Yep, let's go for the destroyer then. So we do have uh, something here. I'm thinking an admin center would be useful. Oh, you can upgrade. That's always nice. Scientific breakthrough. Scientific achieved. breakthrough. What did we get? Oh, the next dedicated tetrionic level. That's great. So that helps our star bases and some of our ships. Let's now go for the. Oh, actually, next level breaching. 
Although this would help with sensors. Uh, you would help with lab facilities and sensors. Actually, you know, that might be helpful. Research alternatives. You know what? Even though we have this here, this breaching tetronic cannon, I think I'm going to go for you when it's fast. Um, and we're kind of lagging behind in sensors as well. So that would be helpful. Yep, you still have seven jobs, and actually you'll get another one, another two there, so that's fine. Situation log, it looks like there's nothing we need to worry about there. Um, reinforcements in transit, luxuries, XP, all of that looks fine. Yeah, okay. Um, can we claim anything else? These are... Nope, that's still going to take a while. And I cannot declare rivalry because, uh, yeah. Can I go ahead and insult? Um, insults. We need tense relations. We'd need to harm stuff anyway. Um, let's go ahead and harm relations. Um, because if I can get them as a... Yeah, you're pathetic as well. That's beautiful. That's good. Um, if we can get you to become, uh, oh, the Norcadians. Uh, oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong, I was like, why is that not, no longer white? Okay, it's because we still have the Union map mode on. Um, yeah, you here, espionage, still gonna be a little while, so that's fine. We will leave you to it. Uh, oh, your instruments of the void, weaklings to the Barzan. Especially if you take off their breathers. Um, colonizable. Uh, terraforming candidate? No, we don't have any of those either. So if we look at the... at Norcadia. Do we have anything special here? No, we still only have the one pop. It's so actually, it'd be nice to put... Uh, or it will be nice to put things there. Uh, by things, I of course mean slaves. Um, you can have an upgrade, which is nice. Mm, what else? Anchorage, is there anything else we can build here? I mean, there is, but I want to do ships first. Oh, let's start that survey. Fleet is already at full strength. Oh, and that's an excellent find, whatever that is. So let's go ahead and reinforce that fleet. Two battle cruisers at the same time. Perfect. So the backbone of that will be built. Yeah. Oh, uh, we can get rid of this destroyer, I think. Oh yeah. It, we never saved it anyway. It's the deep space station. We cannot see what that actually looks like. Um, but you don't even have. Um. Actually, you shouldn't be barbets. You should be the Gatling turrets there, because this barbet. Oh, actually, maybe you should be, because you can only do short range anyway. And then let's go here and say um, EPS manifold, ships weapon damage just as a whole across the board. Beautiful. Oh, this is a science station. We want a tactical station, because we are, of course, a tactical race. For engineering, uh, modular engineering station, armor pit points is always nice, although hardened shields is always good. And then weapon, uh, you, uh, computer core, I think. Yep. We should, don't need to evade anyway, because we don't move. And then you, shield emitter, daily shield regen, increase uh, dice life support, additional bulkheads. Let's go for the shield emitter. A design of that name. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't be. You should be a tactical deep space station. A tactical space station. Or tactical station. Save. Perfect. Yeah, which is what we. Oh, and yeah, let's get rid of you. Because I don't know why we even have you. Auto complete ship. Yeah, there we go. That's even better. Yes. Station crew, yeah, we don't want the skeleton crew. That type of fusion reactor, that's fine. 
regenerative shields, duotronic computer, um, deep space station. Yeah, I mean, that's what that. Tactical installation. Ah, okay, this isn't different levels. It's just a level of technology. For a second, I was like, oh, why is that so different? Yeah, no, weapons range, shields, damage. Yeah, shield weapon damage plus 20%. Won't be so helpful against the Borg, but will be helpful against other things. Station repair bay on allied ships. Uh, station command hub. Ooh. System ship weapon fire rate, base ship speed. Ships within the field have a 10,000% chance to take damage. Ignoring 0% armor, this damage can be dodged. Um, emergency cooldown, combat disengage chance. No, let's go for this one. That one seems better on the whole for us. Not that, of course, that we'll be able to build one for a while. Oh, who's not gained? Oh, the system. Okay, that's fine. See, what we could do, hold on. Maybe the next person we're going to go against is the Hoosnok. So if we make claims there, we can literally just go down here and say, I'm going to take these two systems from you. Yeah. Oh, but first, let's of course do these upgrades. So upgrade, upgrade, and upgrade. Who just died? A scientist. Okay, that's not too bad then. Oh, you're very young. Let's go for you. And say, um, where are you? Oh, you're all the way over. You're all the way down here. No, let's go ahead and just automatically survey. Egalitarian, that's fine. So you are upgrading, you're upgrading um, technology. Oh, we're about to get that, um, but in two Our years we're going to get the advanced battle superior. cruiser. I think, oh, let's say new research, uh, graviton beam, backup warp core... Oh, sorry, warp coils, aceton assimilator. You know what, let's go for the backup warp coils. Um, that's going to be 31 months, that's 20 months. You know what, let's go ahead and move these down here to the Bayless system. Oh, we can't, because we cannot come through. Oh, but what we could do is let's come to the Barryman system, because there's no point not being around a Borg system. Um, and what I'm going to do is, once we get down there, once all of my fleets, uh, these three fleets, not any new fleet, not this fleet, for example. Our ships have been made oh, superior. Not yet. End of the month, then we can probably do that. Uh, scient another scientist has died. Let's go ahead and recruit you. And get you... Oh, not like that. Okay, just go ahead and explore. Oh, minerals. Let's go ahead and sell some of you just to get some extra extra alloys. Um, let's go ahead and go like, I don't know, that. Let's go like that. Don't sell the magnesite because we're not... Oh, we do have plus two magnesite now, but I'm still not going to sell it. Let's go like that. And let's go like that. So we can go like that. We can get two cruisers as well. Yes, yeah, so I'll have them move down here. The, taking these two should be relatively simple. What I will also do is send my armies here as well. And so in 170 days, so probably the start of the next episode, we're going to try and take on... Not try. We're probably going to be very successful in taking on... Um, yeah, the Husnok. So things have changed up here very slightly. Yeah, you've taken that. As was expected. Okay. You're still we fighting. Oh, you're not fighting three wars. That's good. Assimilated. Against the Vidians and the Kravik. Uh, that's good. Member of the Coalition of Star Nations. Yep, you're gonna. You're attacking this one. Although they are doing well against that star base. I wonder if that's why that is. If it's because they're AI and because of the difficulty I'm playing on, that's helping. Um. Ooh. Let's go for. Hmm. You know what, let's go for you. You are cheap, um, it will help with police stations eventually, and insult efficiency increase. That way we can just go ahead and say, you for example, propose subjugation? No, that's probably not. Yeah, you're in a coalition, so that's absolutely not going to happen. Mm, cruisers coming along. 
battle cruiser. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's your cruiser. That's just been just about to be finished. Yeah. Okay. So you're nearly down there. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to put a cut, so that is what I'm going to do. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we will be fighting against the Husnog. We'll be taking um, their home system with 20 pots, which will be beautiful. And yeah, we'll just go from there. Armies, no armies, and probably no armies there either, so it should be a really relatively simple, quick and easy war. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If so, please definitely remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.